Uh, hello, so today's topic is uh, facial nerve palsy due to the birth trauma, you know. Uh, now the facial uh, nerve palsy due to birth trauma is the loss of uh, controllable, uh, which means uh, voluntary muscle movement, you know, uh, in uh, an infant's face uh, due to pressure on the facial nerve uh, in the face just before and at the time of birth, you know. Uh, an infant's facial nerve is also called the seventh cranial nerve, you know, and uh, it can be damaged just before or at the time of delivery. And uh, most of the time the cause is unknown, uh, but uh, a difficult delivery with or without the use of an instrument uh, called forceps uh, uh, can lead to the, uh, this condition, you know. And the some factors that can cause birth trauma include like uh, large baby size, you know, and uh, large pregnancy or labor, you know, so long, you know. Uh, pregnancy labor you know and uh, use the uh, for epidural anesthesia and the use of medicines to cause labor and uh, uh, strong contractions you know and just to pull the baby out and uh, push the baby out in fact you know and most of the time uh, these factors uh, do not lead to facial nerve palsy uh, or birth trauma uh, now the most uh, common form of uh, facial nerve palsy due to birth trauma involves uh, only the lower part of the facial nerve and uh, this part controls the muscles around the lips, you know. And uh, the muscle weakness is uh, mainly noticeable when the infant cries. And uh, the uh, newborn infant may have the following symptoms like uh, uh, eyelid may not close uh, on affected side, you know, and the lower face uh, appears uneven during the, uh, he cries, you know. And the mouth does not move down uh, the same way uh, on both sides while crying, you know and uh, no movement uh, on the affected side of the face uh, so these are the common signs and symptoms you know associated with the uh, uh, nerve palsy you know uh, physical examination is usually uh, all that is needed to diagnose this condition you know and uh, in rare cases a nerve con uh, conduction test may be needed you know and uh, this test can uh, point out the exact location of the uh, nerve injury now the brain imaging tests uh, are not uh, needed unless your doctor thinks that there is another problem such as a tumor or stroke, you know. Uh, in most cases, the infant will uh, be closely monitored to see the if the paralysis goes away on its own, you know. And uh, if the baby's eyes does not close uh, all the way and uh, an iPad and eye drops will be used to protect the eyes, you know. And the surgery may be needed to relieve pressure uh, on the nerve and the infants uh, with the permanent paralysis need special therapy, you know. Uh, the condition usually goes away on its own uh, in few months, you know. And uh, in some cases, the muscles uh, on the affected side of the uh, face become permanently paralyzed. And there is no guaranteed way to prevent uh, pressure, uh, these kind of pressure injury in the uh, unborn child, you know and uh, uh, the proposed use uh, of forceps and uh, improved childbirth matters have reduced the rate of uh, facial nerve palsy in the newborn babies thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye